Hi, in this video we are going to practice determining what the indefinite article is of a Spanish noun. So be sure to review nouns, gender, and number in your textbook, and also pay attention to the explanation about indefinite articles. Or remember you can Google the topic, Spanish indefinite articles, find a nice YouTube video about it. Uh, so be sure you prepare a little bit and then come here when you're ready to practice. I will give a brief review though. Uh, remember that the L and LA are equivalent to the word THE in English and Spanish. And remember L is masculine and LA is feminine. And you just have to basically memorize the L or the LA with any Spanish noun. Remember there are some rules for determining, some, some rules uh, for the, having to do with the endings of words that will tell you if it's masculine or feminine. But basically you just have to memorize. Now we're going to take a look specifically at indefinite articles, which are un and una, and this is the equivalent of a or an. So when you're talking about a noun, if I say the car, I'm using the, indef the definite article the with that noun. If I want to say a car, well, a is referred to in English and in Spanish as the indefinite article. Now again, the equivalent of that in Spanish is un or una. There is a relationship. If the noun is masculine, in other words, if it takes el as its definite article, it's going to take un as its indefinite article. So el carro, the car, would be un carro, a car. If the noun takes the definite article la, if it's feminine, then the corresponding indefinite article will be una. So if I say, for example, the door, la puerta, if I want to say a door, it would be una puerta. So be sure you're aware of this relationship. Okay, so we have just as another example, el libro, the book, un libro, a book. La casa, the house, una casa, a house. Okay, so here comes the practice part. Uh, we are going to work with just un and una. So when you see the noun, again, the same rules for determining the gender apply. Is it masculine or feminine? Again, if it's masculine, it's going to be un. If it's feminine, it's going to be una. Okay, so here's the practice. Let's go. Shoe, zapato. How do you say a shoe? It's masculine. Note again, it ends in an O. That you that if it in, if a noun ends in an O, it's usually masculine. Un zapato. Mesa, a table. How do you say a table? Una mesa. Hija, daughter. How do you say a daughter? Una hija. Hijo, a son. Un hijo. Silla. Notice it ends in an A. Remember, nouns that end in A are usually grammatically feminine. So they take the la for the definite or the una for the indefinite. So there's your answer. Una silla. A chair. Banco. Bank. A bank. Un banco. Carro. Car. Un carro. A car. Supermercado, supermarket. Un supermercado, a supermarket. Vaso, glass, this is like a glass for drinking. A glass would be un vaso. Computadora, computer. A computer. Una computadora. Estudiante. Now, I put M here because the word estudiante can be masculine or feminine. It's one of those nouns where the thing that determines whether it's masculine or feminine is the article. So, uh, I, I'm just telling you this one picked the masculine form. So, I want to say a student, meaning a male student. Un estudiante. Estudiante female. So a student, a female student, una estudiante. Puerta, 
door? Una puerta, a door. Plato, plate? A plate? Un plato. Semana? Week? Una semana, a week. Fin de semana, now this is weekend. Notice in Spanish it's end of week, literally. And we go by the first word here, the word that comes before de to determine the gender. So fin, you just have to know. You should have memorized it at this point. It's masculine, so un fin de semana, a weekend. Dia, remember this is an exception. It ends in a, but it's actually masculine, so un dia, a day. Okay, so that's it for this video. Remember to practice again. Go back to the beginning of the practice portion of the video and try it again and try to come up with the right answer before I show you what the answer is. And when you can go all the way through and you've got everything right, then you've really learned something. That's it for this video.